the YouTubers. Um, tonight it's supposed to get down to, you know, they're saying nine degrees by morning, and I recently picked up a hammock. So my plan is to uh, string up just a couple trees here. I've got a fire pit over there to give me some warmth, and um, we'll see how it goes. Bad news is the wind's going to be coming off the lake all night long, 12 miles per hour. It looks like it's maybe down to nine. So um, I do have a new tarp that I'm going to try out and see how that goes. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad for this video, but um, that's what's coming. I'm going to string the tarp up, the hammock up, and uh, I'll get back. to the other side so you're on the downwind side now the wind's gonna change directions of course um, it's, it's like 20 degrees right now and it's blowing like 15 mile per hour gust so uh, let me get my under quilts on here and uh, get that going Shall return. All right, I went and got some line and I tied this around the tree here. As you can see, the wind's still whipping pretty hard. Um, I think we're good. I'm gonna go and get in. All right, so I'm inside. Yeah, once you get out of that wind, it's quite warm. Nose is running. I have a snot rag hanging from my ridge line uh, for just this purpose. <laughs> it always stays up there. Uh, apologize um yeah quite warm uh out of the wind it's gonna be loud noisy tonight got the um under quilt shifted around i might need to move them a little bit more looks like the, the red one's down inside I like to try to get it to stay up i've got but in the net i think it's gonna work fine I don't feel any breezes on my back. No cold spots yet. Of course, I'm in my jacket. I guess I should look at the camera, huh? Hello, peoples. Instead of looking at my face in the screen, look at the camera. Man, so it looks like I'm looking right at you. All right, so I'm outside. Um, it's about 15 degrees, 14 degrees. It's around seven o'clock. Um, Trying to get a fire lit and doesn't really want to light on fire, which is all right. Um, got some food, being because I heated it up in the house and uh, put it in a thermos. So I'm gonna sit here, eat that, um, and then uh, probably just try to turn in. Um, I brought a bunch of firewood over, stacked some twigs and stuff, but it seems like everything's frozen. The tripod's like stuck to the ground. The uh, my shoes, I stepped in a puddle earlier, then everything just stuck to the bottom of my shoes. So, um, like I said, it's about 14 or 15 right now. It's supposed to only get to about 11 overnight and like nine by um, six in the morning. Eating the last little cup of, of stew, got my fire going. But I'm a little worried because, well, the wind's blowing, fire's there. The wind is blowing away from us but every once in a while a little spark will drift over this way and I don't, I'm hoping I don't get a spark on here and burn a hole in it so I'm probably not gonna get the fire too big let's keep it low um, finish up my food get my feet warm and then head in do a little reading and um, then if I wake up in the middle of the night I will um, I'll like update you on where we're at what the temperature is again it's supposed to only get to you know like 11 overnight i'm running a gemini under quilt 
in the winter mode along with um, a uh, one wind I think it's about a 40 degree under quilt and that's on the outside so yeah we'll see got a nice sleeping bag I don't know what the temperature rating in uh, is on it it's old it's from like the 70s uh, from it's a trail wise which was made by the Berkeley ski hut they've got to be zero bags because I've been down in 30s and 20s and never felt the cold so. all right sorry for a quick handheld um so the pond froze over last night uh it got down to about six i think yeah six with the felt like negative two or something it was cold uh this was the system that i got it was pretty much pushed at its max um i couldn't have uh gone much colder at one point, it uh, the underquilts kind of sagged. I don't know if they just got wet or what happened. Oh, man, no. Everything's thawing out, so it's getting wet. The ground's thawing. Um, it was everything was iced up inside. It was a it was a cold night. Um, I'm gonna break this down. I've got some snake skins to throw the tarp into, and so I gotta try to see how I'm gonna get that in there. And, um, other than that, let's see, it was six, it said felt like negative two, um, I'd say 10 degrees, 15 degrees would be comfortable in this setup, um, anything colder and yeah, I gotta, uh, I gotta do a better under quilt.